Hi, I'm drinking chocolate milk the way it was intended to with a beautiful paper straw to save the turtles. Today we're gonna paint stuff. I'm at like my art table, so I feel like the lighting's really bad because I have like a giant light right here. I have my art stuff here. And I'm also gonna go through your comments on what I should draw because I asked you guys on Instagram. Let's see what you guys have said. Hmm. Holly has a cat, a cat with a human Holly face. I could do that. You should draw a self-portrait. And then someone else said yourself. So let's do Holly with a human face and me. So I have some pictures of Holly and her cat. You guys have seen her cat in like one video, I think. I'll link it if you haven't. Click the eye icon if you haven't seen it. Holly currently has pink hair, which is really cute. And I used to have pink hair. So we're gonna do this thing. I currently obviously don't have pink hair anymore and it's really sad and I miss it, but I have pictures of when I did, and I can also just like finesse my current pictures to make it look like I have pink hair. And I have a bunch of pictures of Buttercup the cat. So let's see, what are some good ones? Thanks at Harmony Wilson, because all these pictures you've sent me, except for one, are all blurry. So I have two good cat pictures that I will put up here. And then I also have one good picture of Holly that I will be using. Yes, it is time to get to work. So let me move this out of the way. Last time I did a watercolor piece, it turned out like, Something just fell out. So, okay. Hopefully this comes out decent. Let's just get started, haha. <laughs> Not really sure what I'm doing, but let's see. And now I'm gonna post a thing that says, ask me questions so I have things to talk about at least while I'm drawing. Now we can really get started. I'm gonna like somewhat angle it downwards so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Hey Siri, turn off battery saving. Okay. I turned off low power mode. Alright, so like the way in which like a cat body is shaped is like really easy to draw, so this isn't taking me as long as I thought it would. Something weird is going on with this arm. Okay, now this stuff is all erased. Now I get to draw Holly's beautiful face. That's probably like the hardest part. Face should be like this size, so let's 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 attempt to do this can i do this all right sorry holly if this ends up looking nothing like you does anyone ask me anything let's see i don't even know how to like receive these things someone said what's your skincare routine also have you ever played pokemon if so top five pokemon and they're very excited so let's start drawing this my skincare routine i like don't have good skin i mean i don't have bad skin but it's definitely not the Best. The only thing I really do for my skincare routine is just wash my face regularly. I only wash my face at night because I have sensitive skin. So if I don't do that, then it will like freak out in the morning because that's like too much for it to handle, I guess, which is kind of funny. It's just like good lighting is usually what it is. Pokemon? Oh my god. So like, I used to really be into Pokemon when I was a kid. Like, we have a picture somewhere in my house of me and my cousin playing Pokemon when I was little. And he, like, gave me his Game Boy and I didn't even know how to play it. This is not right. I didn't even know how to play it. I don't know, I was like a child. I was never really like too into Pokemon games. Unpopular opinion, I guess, but I feel like the Pokemon games are all kind of repetitive and the same. It's all just like, gotta catch them all and that's it. Plotline changes a bit, I guess, but for the most part, it's all kind of the same. I watched the show a lot as a kid. So that's like where my Pokemon knowledge comes in. As for top five Pokemon, oh my god. Not Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur sucks. I don't care if he's like the best for like the first like so many gyms and like strategically you should use him. I don't like him. He's like a frog with a flower on his back and they're like, let's make this a Pokemon. I feel like I can only pick from the original 150 or 151 if you're that guy. I just don't have enough knowledge past that. Oof, this face is not where I want it to be, but it's fine. We will figure it out. Obviously, Pikachu, right? I like Pichu. I only like them based on aesthetics. Like, sorry, I'm that person. I don't even know if I can pick five. Like, I don't remember. Oh, I love Ditto. Just cause like, so funny. Does this look like Holly? Cause I feel like it doesn't, but I also feel like it's because, you know, her face is on a cat body, so who knows? <laughs> like, can you can you see the resemblance? This is so strange. This is just so strange. And now I'm gonna start painting this. 
I need to erase everything first though because watercolor is like so transparent that if you don't erase everything it's just gonna look really really muddy which is not a good time watercolor makes me so nervous because of how thin it is and like how you literally can't mess up or you'll just hate yourself for life this is so strange like why am I doing this <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna paint a background on any of these because I think I'm gonna just like cut these out so the paints I use are these Winsor and Newton the Cotman watercolors and so I'm gonna be using I usually only use like a couple colors I don't ever use black one two three four five so I have rose matter hue cadmium red ultramarine cadmium yellow hue and burnt umber I haven't done watercolors in a long time aside from like two days ago like before then I haven't done a lot of art in general so uh whoops this is a new color that i got recently and i'm really excited about it the cadmium red wasn't like a rich enough red for some reason like it wasn't close enough to the crimson side i don't know why but it wasn't so i had to get a rose all right this is a really small face and i don't think i've ever watercolored a face this small so that's my only real concern i need a needable eraser and i don't have one here <laughs> Okay, when I watercolor things before I start, I like to use a kneadable eraser to kind of just make the pencil marks lighter so that they don't really affect the paint as much. This is gonna be a super long video, but whatever. Someone asked me what my favorite medium is and why. First of all, I need a brush. Okay, is this even small enough? I guess so. My favorite medium is probably just... I like a lot of mediums. I guess my like least favorite medium is oil pastel. Oh, I hate oil pastel. Like, sorry, not sorry. I absolutely hate it. I don't really have a reason to hate it other than just, I do. It's like messy and it gets everywhere. I'm not like particularly fond of charcoal, but I'm pretty good at it in my opinion. And I don't think it's like that difficult. I just don't like it because of the lack of like stability. Like once you're done with your piece and you, even if you spray it down like a bunch of times, it's gonna forever just be in danger of smudging, which is not a good time. This is too dark here. No. Ooh, that's way too dark. My B at Holly Wilson. And then also Holly wears glasses, which is like a whole nother thing I have to worry about while painting this, so. Always make sure you add green in your face, children. Human face is not 100% like a peach color. Random green in there where it's warranted. Obviously don't just add it wherever, but also like, don't forget it, you know? Oh, Holly, why do you have to wear glasses? It's so complicated. Struggles or hardships in your art journey. I kind of covered that already in my last Draw With Me video. If you want to watch it, I'll link it above. Click the I. I think the main hardship was just getting over what everyone else thinks about it. Because like for the longest time, other people are going to tell you like, hey, you shouldn't do this. Hey, what if you don't make it? Then what are you going to do kind of thing? And that's really hard to deal with, especially as like a super little kid. And so that was kind of hard for me like trying to figure out like how I was actually gonna do this or if I was actually gonna do this my parents supporting me was like a whole nother thing that I touch on a lot in that video so if you want to know about that I would definitely recommend go watching that video that I made this new pink color is like the most beautiful thing I love it so much for the body I'm less concerned about like losing my pencil lines because it's just a cat body like it's not that hard to figure out as i go so we're gonna give buttercup a nice wash of like a creamy color i like giving things like a wash of color before i really start anything just because i feel like that helps kind of figure out where everything is okay there's a lot of like purple on butters too so it kind of evens itself out in the end man i wish i knew color theory like, I know color theory in terms of, like, what colors you mix to make certain colors, but I don't really know color theory in terms of, like, what colors look good with other colors, because I'm really bad at knowing what colors look good together. Like, you could ask me to mix a certain color, and I could definitely do that. I can't do anything beyond that, which is really sad. Okay, Holly's face is dry. And I'm out of chocolate milk. It's very disappointing. How would you describe your style? What is my style? Oh, my shoulder's cramping. That's my main style, it's just my shoulder cramping 24 seven. I guess my style is kind of, like if you're talking about my illustrative style, it, there definitely is like a certain look to it. It's like kind of like a, a whimsical 
generic art student looking thing but there definitely is like asian influence in it and you can really see it it's a very like cutesy fairy like style as for my just like everyday art style i don't think i really have a specific style i mean my friends have told me before that they can like totally tell when i draw something because it has a style to it but i don't know what that means just a tip if you're ever doing skin colors don't make your skin colors too warm all the way through because i've seen a lot of people do that like it doesn't look very good because it's not very realistic what are important things you learned throughout high school there's a video i want to make about like horror stories of my high school career basically like i would just rant about everything bad that's ever happened to me in high school um not too much happened that was bad because i was like a pretty good student and i didn't really ever do anything wrong if you would watch that, let me know. A few examples of what could possibly go wrong is me getting kicked out of the library and banned from it permanently. Everyday things like that. If that's never happened to you, then I mean, congrats. But yeah, I got banned from my school library at one point. What did I learn though? Not much. <laughs> High school, I feel like is when you finally have to grow up no one ever expects you to grow up until you finally hit high school and then all of a sudden you have to grow up really really stupidly fast wasn't very good at like being an adult but then once i hit high school i was i got all these leadership positions and i kind of had to grow up your face is just so tiny in this that it's like so difficult i feel like i've gotten like most of what I need to do done for the face. So I should just get ready to do her glasses soon. Like, okay, Holly's eyes are not blue enough in this. So we're gonna go in and darken that. Oof, wait, no, too dark. Okay, it's like, is there something still missing in it? It's like the nose or something. It's just kind of not where I want it to be. I think I'm getting there though. Soon, soon. That was a mistake, what I just did. Cool. Anyways, we're gonna move on now to her glasses. I'm gonna do a bit of hair defining first, and then we will do the glasses. Like the more I look at it, just the more the more strange it gets. I haven't even done like the cat body yet. Let's mix a color for her glasses, and we're gonna make it super light. It's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Probably should have said that after though, because I feel like I just jinxed it. Okay, that didn't turn out bad. Okay, I did map out where the black marks are on Buttercup's body, but like I've barely gone in and even defined where the brown is or really any of the colors. I feel like I'm gonna make like a couple of draw with me's because I got a lot of requests for like good things to draw and I can't fit any of them into like one video. Like there's no possible way I could humanly do that because this is already taking me like so long. Okay, has anyone asked me anything else? Gouache or watercolor? Well, I don't think I really know how to use gouache, because like, when I do use gouache, I just water it down like watercolor. And I don't think that's the proper way to use gouache, so. I guess I'd have to say watercolor. And I'm, I'm using watercolor right now, so. Like, does that answer your question? Did I make it in the video? No. What are you most excited slash nervous about on going to an art school? God, okay, so I'm really excited about being with other art kids and not being like the art kid anymore. One of the big reasons I never really talked about my art when I was in high school and middle school was because I hated being the art kid and that being like the only thing I was known for. I really hated that. There's more to my personality than just being the art kid. That's why like my YouTube channel will never just be an art YouTube channel because I, I like more things than just art so I'm excited I'm not being singled out like that again but I feel like I'm nervous about not being the art kid anymore now my validation is kind of gone so whether I'm actually good or not is extremely debatable and my parents are really nervous about me leaving and I mean obviously I'm nervous about me leaving but I'm like ready to leave and I'm ready to get out of here finally being able to experience new things is really exciting Holly's face needs more defining touches. Everything I do is always like slightly a mistake. Like an intentional mistake, you know what I mean? Like even if it went perfectly to plan, still a mistake somehow. I'm very bad at painting fur on animals, so I feel like this is turning out very, very ugly. It's like the, the randomness slash the pattern that fur has, it's just like, I'm not good at it. Which I mean, I know I should do more of it then, but it's just like, like in theory it should be easy, but it's not for some reason. I don't quite know why it's not for me. That makes much more sense. And then the, the cat hair. I don't know how to paint cat hair. This is so frustrating. How does one paint cat hair? 
That's what I'm doing, but it's not looking good. Mm. My grandma was just like, oh my god, that's Holly. But anyways, now I think I'm done with the watercolor. There's not much left for me to do. So I'm going to go in with a micron and a white jelly roll. And we're going to just do some touch-ups and we're going to be done. I don't really like using microns to touch up watercolor stuff usually, but like since this is kind of an illustrative thing, I guess, it's fine to just clean up lines. I really just spent- how long has it been? It's been like two- I spent two hours on this. And like, for what? Like, why did I do this, you know? I'm confused with my life choices. I feel like this came out okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of some white jelly roll. I need to give her highlights. In her eyes for sure. My cups definitely need some highlight. I need to go in and do like the fur pattern in the places where I couldn't do it. I think this is actually wrong right here. I feel like I should be a bit lower like that. I feel like I just created a monster. I'm done. This took me an hour and 45 minutes. This is what I did. I hope you like it. Like, I did have a plan to do myself, but like, should I even at this point? This is so upsetting, but I guess we'll do me now. Cause you know, gotta match without another sheet of watercolor paper. Let's do this, ha ha ha. Can you tell how dead I am inside? I'm not even tired, it's only like 11.45. What's the biggest change you experienced in your life? Hmm, the biggest change I, experienced in my life i don't know i'm only 18 so you know like haven't lived much of life college is gonna be the biggest change it's upcoming but like if that doesn't count since it hasn't technically happened yet then probably ghp because if you guys don't know what ghp is it's the governor's honors program it's this thing they have in georgia where, like basically the top one percent of people get to this is way bigger than holly i want them to kind of be similar they get to go and just basically like do the summer camp for a while and i went as an art major and i think going there also helped me really decide like that i was gonna go into art because for the longest while i wasn't going to which i talk about a lot in that video that i've mentioned like so many times when i draw when i used to draw faces i would always forget the eyebrows and like that's so funny to me because like i'm always like why does this not look right and then you realize that you literally forgot to draw someone's eyebrows and you're like, oh, I see. <gasps> Shh. I have to change this out. I just scratched the paper like majorly. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I have really long hair. So should I give myself as the cat version very long hair? Also, um, I know we're already like nearing like kind of halfway in the video, but I hope you guys like the angle of the camera this time because you can actually like kind of see what I'm doing. I don't want to work the paper too much because I don't want to ruin like the tooth of it, but. Okay, so I've worked on the face a bit more and now I think it does look like me. I think we're ready. I'm gonna check the body one more time because it's, it's just weird. Strange, we're going at it again. Okay, let's see if there's anything anyone has said yet. How are you blessed with such great looks? <laughs> oh, that's really sweet, but I don't think I'm that blessed. I think I'm like an average person. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready to paint my face. Let's do this. We're gonna do that wash of color like I do. Ooh, that's way too dark. I feel like that's my like saying, my motto throughout this entire video is just, ooh, that's way too dark. Okay, now we can add a little bit of color. I'm not as peachy as Holly is, but I wish I was, because it's cute. Two people ask the exact same question. What are you most excited about for college? What are you most excited about for college? That's really weird that it's like word for word. This is so much stressful than the first time, because now I have like standards to meet. Like I already drew Holly and it came out like good in my opinion, so now I have to like make sure this one comes out good too, or it's just like sad times like i said add green haha <laughs> i almost just forgot the own rule that i told everyone add green it's important okay let's mix a green that's it i'm gonna paint in my hair a very weird blackish brown color i don't like using pure black because that's too harsh shoot i just remembered that i'm supposed to have pink hair 
So this cannot be brown. We're gonna make that pink. So it's gonna be a bit more yellowy, just to like match my skin tone. So like on the last cat, like the one that's Holly's body, I put some pink in the cat, just like the fur, just to make sure it kind of blends a bit better, I guess. Like it just looks more cohesive. Okay, some of you has asked me more questions, so thank you. How's life? <laughs> life is good, I guess. And will you document RISD assignments? I don't think I'm gonna document all of my RISD assignments. I'm definitely gonna make videos while I'm at RISD and evidently I will be working like stupidly hard on everything. So I don't think even if I wanted to not document anything, I wouldn't even be able to cause like it's part of my life at that point. And so I won't purposefully document my stuff at RISD but it will end up in the videos. I need a very like chestnut color and I've been struggling to find it. I think that's gonna be the best I can get it to be. <laughs> Why did you choose to attend RISD? So I talked about this in my portfolio video a lot, but RISD seemed to really want me as a student. They offered me like a large merit-based scholarship and they also, they sent me a postcard. They were really interested in my work at Portfolio Day. It seemed like they were really into what I was doing and I appreciated that and like, you know, gives me hope. So like they're such a good school in the first place with everything that they've done and all their like alumni has done and stuff that it's like, why would you not want to go to RISD? Honestly, it's like a prestigious art school and I'm not doing my best of explaining it. Like I actually have many reasons as to why I want to go to RISD, but I just can't put them into words very well right now because I'm working on this, so. I apologize. Oh, the tip of this brush is starting to warp. Like it's doing that weird like curly thing. Someone just asked me if I can do a video on drawing body and or hand proportions. To be honest with you, I'm not really good at doing body proportions and I don't really know them. I do know the face proportions very well. Low key demonstrated in what I'm doing right now. As soon as that dries, I think we're gonna go in and start doing like the features on the face. I'm honestly like really reluctant to ever do work on the cat body just cause like, I'd rather just paint the face. Favorite color combo, someone asked me. That's really funny because like I said, I don't know color theory. So favorite color combo? Do I have one? Do I even know what a color combo is? Uh, because this brush is starting to warp, it kind of concerns me, but we're just gonna, we're really just gonna keep using the same brush. Does it matter if your brush is warping? Yes, of course. Does it affect how your work is gonna come out? Yes, of course. But am I too lazy to switch out a brush? Yes, of course. I'll just suffer, it's fine. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I am messing up majorly. Art is just about messing up continuously and trying to fix it, right? Would you rather live in a small town where everyone knows each other or the city? I need to fix a lot of stuff. I feel like I already live in like a small town, to be honest. Like in my neighborhood, we all kind of know each other. And it's like, it's fine, I guess. I really like the city and I've always liked the city. So probably gonna stay in the city. I'm like low-key moving to the city anyways. So I think we're just gonna do some pen stuff and then we be done. So, microns. I'm gonna like try to define the face. The way the watercolors are, it makes it like smudgy and weird. Like it bleeds a little bit too much and I'm not sure why because I don't, like I know how to control watercolors and it just doesn't do the thing I want it to do every time. So that's really annoying. I've had art block for like two months now, please help. Oh my God. That is so relatable. I am so sorry for what you are going through. I've had art block for a while, which is mostly why I asked you guys to tell me what to draw because I was like, I can't think of anything. Turn to the internet. Like, I feel like that's a, ooh, I just smudged it. I feel like that's a good solution. Time for highlights. I need a lot of highlights on this one. I like went overboard a little bit. So a lot of my face is like darker than it needs to be. Okay, we're gonna call it a day because that looks that looks decent and my hand is cramping so cool. Now we're just gonna cut these out. As I'm cutting these out, I'm gonna answer some final questions. So someone asked me what made me want to create YouTube videos. I plan on exposing myself at some point where like I go through and watch my old videos, but basically where I was when I was a kid, 
I made a lot of videos and they were all like super cringy of course, but still videos nonetheless. I would just like film stuff all the time and I would always film myself and just like what I was doing. So I always kind of just liked making videos anyways. And then as I got older, I was like, whoa, what's YouTube? But I was always too shy to make a YouTube account. So I just never did it, but I still kept making videos just like for myself and I just like watch them sometimes. And so then when I got older and my self-esteem like somewhat improved, <laughs> um, and my self-esteem somewhat improved, I decided to make a channel. So I did and yeah, I just decided to go with it. This paper's like thick and it's kind of hurting my hands to cut this, but you know, no pain, no gain. Got to do it for the art. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. <gasps> we made it. Oh my god, we're done. Guys, we did it. Aren't you so glad that you were a part of this? Yeah, here they are. This is what I spent a lot of time doing. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this because this took a lot of time to make, but since you guys gave me so many good requests, I'm planning to do another episode. Episode? Is this an episode? I'm planning to do another video like this very, very soon. And so I will reuse your responses. Yeah? Cool? Cool. It is currently 1.20 a.m. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay hydrated. Take a nap. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Look at them go. Hi, my name is Holly. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Me, 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 me. You're annoying. I know. Oh my god. Ah, we're cats. Why are we cats? I don't know.